Oh, thank you, Wasty. And, you know, speaking of Guy Fawkes coming up on the 5th of November, that means fireworks. And usually this time of the year, it always breaks my heart when you think of what happens to the animals. Exactly. And we want to make sure you don't get caught off guard and that you are prepared for those moments that your animal becomes highly distressed. It can always sometimes also be potentially fatal if there are fireworks involved. So to be prepared is what's key. And we are joined by our favorite animal behavioralist, Karis Nafti, to look Look at how we can keep our pets safe and calm during this time or during any time that there are loud noises and fireworks. Karis, it's so lovely having morning. you here. Morning. Hello. Good morning. You, you didn't come alone. Favorite boy. I'm just like I said, I just bring Sam, but yes, I'm here. I know, because he's <laughs> a smiley boy and he's in good nick this morning. Yes. Ah, Guy Fawkes, is, it, it's a two edged sword, because, and I've long since moved away from the need or the desire to want to celebrate it because I know I've seen firsthand <laughs> what it does carpet. to dogs. Now, I think yeah. the, the terrible statistics, obviously, um, the one that we can track is the amount of dogs that go missing missing on the fifth every single year because of the stress that they endure. But what actually goes on? Why are fireworks so distressing for dogs in particular? It's so distressing. And cats, it must Cats be as well, absolutely. Do you know that the busiest day in animal shelters is the 6th of November? Oh. oh because so many animals goes missing and they all disappear. So what you have to understand for animals is that I suppose the only way we can describe it is they think they might die yeah. with all the sounds that happen, the intense sounds, the, the, the cracking, the unusualness of it, and the loudness of it. It's just, it's terrifying mind, for them. Their hearing is, in some dogs, I know like a golden retriever, seven times ours. Yeah. All dogs, all <laughs> so. animals. They, they, if you think of how animals hunt, cats and dogs as well, they've got super, super hearing, so they can mm. hear everything. And having good hearing means that they can, all the sounds are a lot louder for them. So the problem with Guy Fawkes is that if you're in an area where there's lots of fireworks happening, if animals get scared, their instinct is to run away from the scary noise. But if the scary noise is coming it's from everywhere, everywhere, they just end up in a panic. They can run on roads. They can get in. They can just disappear and run. Some people find their dogs kilometers away from Aww. where they're supposed to live. So Aww. it's an absolutely can be completely a traumatic, horrible day for your animals. Yeah, oh. it's really, really oh. harsh. So, well, yeah. you know, oh, we know it's coming. <laughs> we know people will be using fireworks. Well. Yeah. How can we create a calm and safe environment in our own homes to prevent them from running away? Okay, so the first thing, this is what I want all the viewers to know, don't leave your dogs home alone on Guy Fox. okay? Mm -hmm. Don't put them in the backyard and go out with your friends because that is when most of the animals go missing is when they've been left home alone. The best thing to do is keep your animals inside. Even if you have a dog that maybe you don't always let in your house, for this night's particular, allow them to come inside. Close all the doors, close all the windows, and turn on either your TV or your radio some white noise. to create some white noise for the dogs. That's the basic, basic thing that you need to do for the dogs, yeah. If we're caught off guard and the fireworks are going off, someone's got a permit close to our house, something's happened that we didn't take into account, what can we do to help them in the moment of stress? Okay, so what I would suggest everybody does is that they have some food ready, like delicious food or even your dog's normal food, chopped up into little pieces. If there are noises that start happening, and this is the same for puppies, which we can talk about in a second, as any noise happens, just drop food on the ground. Okay. So you can sort of distract your dog from the stress by going, ooh, but delicious smells, and then they'll switch gears and try to eat the food. Okay. If you have a puppy, you can you can create an untraumatized dog by fireworks. If this is their first exposure to these sort of noises, get, like I said, good food and drop it for the puppies so that they think, oh, well, that noise yeah, isn't so bad because I get food. Yes, yes, Great. exactly. Now, I have a very secret, special thing to show you this morning, in case you're wondering why I bought socks on set <laughs> this morning. So there's different ways physically to help your dogs deal with noise and fireworks. And one of the things that works for some dogs is to put a little hoodie over their head that presses their ears in. Right. And this actually muffles the noise and also it calms dogs down because they have a lot of pressure points in their ears. And if you actually press their ears, they calm down. So there's two ways to do this. So the one is if you have a small dog, you can take a sock, a normal sock, and cut the stretchy ends off. So you're oh. making like a snood, okay? Aww. This is for a small dog, it's too small for Sam, for your little Dasha and <laughs> Yeah, Scram. I was gonna this say, oh, I'm having fun with this. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm gonna go create some spectacular some snoods for my sausages <laughs> Exactly. Now. <laughs> now, for a dog like Sam, who's bigger, I've just got a buff, okay? Like my own buff, and I folded it in half. And what you do, come here, Sam. We've been practicing this one. You put it on their head, 
so that their ears oh. go smush back. Now, it, you must make sure this isn't too tight. Obviously, okay, everybody, your dog must be able to breathe. And don't leave them unattended with their ears snood on because you don't want them to get caught on anything. But if you're home with your dog and, you, and it's got to be tight enough to actually push their ears into their head, a lot of dogs calm down when they wear an ear snooty. If your dog hates it, take it off, okay? They don't have to yeah, do it. But it actually, it settles them. I mean, Sam's looking a little bit confused, but you can see. He looks a little embarrassed, let's be honest, guys. He looks embarrassed of anything. He's, He's like, like, oh, my boy. Boy. Hey, my boy. He's like, you why like am a, I wearing... Oh, okay. you look yes. like a little old lady. I know, exactly. Oh, so that's lady. a little... That's a super tip that you can help your dogs with, definitely, yeah. Oh, well, Karis, I know you're not going anywhere. We're going to talk a little bit about the cats. Yes. And, of course, if there are some loud fireworks, it can traumatise all pets. So we urge everyone to please be as considerate as possible and to practice cautious where you can. And if you don't have a pet yet, but always wanted one, then stay with us because Karis joins us in, after the break to show us how we can really welcome a pet into our homes, especially if you're living in a city apartment with not a lot of space. She is here to cover us and with all of the details. <laughs> 